Hi, Hi everyone. And welcome to another episode of ITT, ITT Podcast. Podcast, which stands for In This Together Podcast. Our podcast is our honest take on relationships, love, and marriage, with the aim of sharing our views and experiences for you to take from it whatever you need. So whether you're single, dating, in a relationship, or happily married, there is something in it for you. Hi everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of season two. Yeah. <laughs> You'll notice that the happy Friday, everyone, happy Friday everyone, is gone. And this is really just a recognition of the fact that not everyone listens to us on a Friday. That's true. And towards the end of our podcast, we were getting to the point where we were like, we weren't always recording on a Friday. And so we were... I mean, we weren't recording too late, but it wasn't always on a Friday. Yeah. And I think our aim is really just to get it out in the weekend. <laughs> mm-hmm. It should come out on a Friday, but it might come out on a Saturday. So yeah. we just want to make sure that our intro is neutral. So it's going to be, hi, everyone, from now on. So, yep, season two, and we are back. We're back, baby. Yep, back with Avengers. <laughs> and today's episode is called, Is Submission Really Necessary? Is it really necessary? Is it really necessary? Mm, maybe, maybe <laughs> not. <Can> we <laughs> and we will be exploring the definition of the word submission, what submission really is in a marriage, mm-hmm. traditional ideas of submission versus modern ideas of submission, mm-hmm. and lastly, our opinion on whether or not it's really necessary for a successful relationship. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyone that watches them. Um, Pep and Pig or forced <laughs> to by their daughter will know what that that's right means. But yeah. So why is this topic important to us? Well, the topic is important to us, in my opinion, because there's a lot of talk in and around relationships on submission. Mm. This topic seems to come up often in conversations between men and women. Yeah. And we also think that at times people discuss it without really understanding what it means. I agree. I agree. It's a crucial topic, I think, for when men and women speak about how to have a successful relationship. And it seems that people want different things. And sometimes those two people are actually in the same relationship, wanting different things. That's true. That's true. So you say you think people do not understand the term submission when they discuss it. Because that's something that I feel like when I've had the discussion with people, Mm -hmm. I don't feel like they fully understand the meaning of the word submission because the conversation does not tell me that they understand the meaning, the meaning of that. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to break that down, mm-hmm. our opinions on it and the actual official definitions. I think also this topic will help people to define the roles for each partner in a relationship because submission is all about roles. So it's about way. roles, yeah. It's about roles. And I think once you've understood what the meaning of the word submission means, you may have a different view Mm. on what you think submission mean in a relationship yeah if that makes sense it does so you're saying when people really break down what submission means yeah then they can really understand whether or not they agree with it being in a relationship or exactly. not. exactly yeah and it can also help to create a strong foundation of trust communication mutual understanding anything that allows you to delve into your views and yeah. opinions and values on certain things can help you to build trust, communication, mutual understanding in a relationship, which is like, which is the baseline for a healthy and strong relationship. We got some uh, number of definitions for submission from different places, but they all seem to say similar things. So what was the first definition that we got? Yeah, I would say, let me touch on the dictionary.com one. Dictionary.com. Yeah, because I I find this one really interesting. It describes submission as an act or instance of submitting or yielding control to a more powerful or authoritative entity. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that one to talk about? I chose this one because it sets out clearly what submission really is and what I thought submission actually is, which is why, I mean, we'll get more into it, which is why I don't like the word submission. I'll just put it out there early. Okay, well, yes. episode done. <laughs> Uh, so we don't frax for you. Um, so I'll touch on the Google definition, the action of accepting or yielding to a superior force or to the will or authority of another person. Same. 
That's very strong. That's strong. That that that's, very strong. that's clear. Yeah. And the Oxford English Dictionary states that submission is an act of accepting or yielding, using that word again, yielding to a superior force or to the will, control or authority of another person. Mm-hmm. And other definitions in the Oxford English Dictionary make reference to the state of being obedient or compliant and the act of offering something for decision or consideration. Example, a manuscript, assignment or application is often associated with accepting someone else's will over your own and it's often done in the context of some form of a relationship between two parties. So that doesn't have to mean you're in a marriage or a romantic relationship. It could be um, parent and child. Mm. It could be teacher and child. It could be... um, Could be at work. Court. Yeah, at work. Work. The courts. (laughs) You and the court. Submission is not just limited to relationships, but in... In recent times, I would say it has been linked a lot more to relationships. And I think it is something where we're starting to think of it mainly about relationships Mm -hmm. and forget that it's it's a word that applies to all types of relationship. And there's a clear indication of what is meant by submission just by looking at the definition alone that it's not always translated Mm -hmm. into how we think about relationships or how we think about the word when we talk about relationships. that's That's a really good point. But the relationship between the word submission and what we're talking about here in terms of the um, different types of relationships and um, authority and things, a lot of that, I I must say, came from a recent conversation that I had with Frank. So before we actually recorded, most of you who follow us on social media will know that we were supposed to come back a bit earlier this month. And we haven't really had the chance to record this episode, but we've had a few conversations about submission, not in depth, because we've been trying to save our actual detailed views for this discussion. But we've had a few conversations and one of the conversations, Frank really kind of pointed out that the definition and the way we talk about submissions in relationships is really different. And so I just want to give credit where credit is due. (laughs) (laughs) That uh, my, my way of thinking about it is quite new i would say where frank seems to have always had this view but yeah so i just want to put that out there that that was a a lot of that was through this kind of mini conversation i had with frank where he was like do you really understand the word submission and um yeah so let's let's dive into the dumb definition we're going to cover some questions yeah but but before we do that um you know when you look back to all the definition we've just given mm-hmm. you can see the the common the, the common denominator there right mm-hmm. the yielding the superior force yeah the authority yeah those sounds like alarm bells in my head like literally that's another reason why i don't like it yeah but that's interesting because one of the questions we want to tackle is what is your understanding of submission in a marriage and what are your thoughts on the official definitions mm-hmm. so did you take that from my notes or did you did you also just think about the I just, terms i just thought about the terms and yeah. just reading it out is just it's quite disturbing to me disturbing yeah. that's a strong yeah, one it is, it is when i first did some research into this when i started to do some research into this i did not like what I was coming across in terms of what was used there were the other meanings underneath it uh-huh you can tell dictionary.com was trying to make it a bit more subtle, but they were still using words like yielding and superior force and whatnot. So um, for me, when you take that into a rela- into a marriage or mm. um, or, relationship. or relationship, yeah. then you cannot then translate it into a different form. It has mm. to stay in the same form. That's how I see it. Mm. When people talk about submission, like, oh, my wife isn't submissive. You have to understand the term, the word submission first before you use the word in a sentence. Yeah. So what do you think people are failing to understand about it? So you said you find it disturbing, the words authority, higher power. Um, People haven't looked at the definition of the word submission on its own. That's why I think people are missing the point. I think they mistake submission with respect. Mm. You know, as a man, you have to earn respect. You have to earn respect of your wife. Mm. Now... You can take earning that respect as submission because your wife respects you. But if your wife has a very strong point of view, some people could take that as like she's not submissive. Mm. But is that really what you want from her? I guess is what you're saying. Like, Yeah. Is that really what you want for her to bow to everything you say to her? Mm. 
Mm. As what he's saying, as what the definition is saying, yeah, yielding to a superior force. Yeah. So whatever I say should go. Mm. So you should submit to me. That sounds wrong. For how you for how many news? Yeah, yeah. I, I expect you to. Res- I, I would want you to respect me. I would want to earn your respect. Yeah. Not your submission. Like mm. you need to <laughs> respect is more like I respect what you're saying because you've made some valid point or the way you need this relationship, this marriage. Mm. I respect you for that. It's not going to be, I'm submitting to you, regardless, regardless of how terrible you are at leadership or how, <laughs> or, or, or how terrible you carry yourself and what no, or how disrespectful you are to me. I'm going to submit to you. Come on. Yeah, okay. I get that. And I think that's interesting because one of the things we were talking about last time when we touched on this, and it was really brief. I think we only spoke about it for about five minutes and then we were like, stop, stop, stop. We need to wait until the podcast. But one of the things we touched on was... If you had asked me probably about six months ago whether or not I think I submit to my husband, I would have said, yeah, of course. Submission is necessary. I think it's important. I believe in the man being a leader in a relationship. So I do think a woman should submit to her husband, right? And then when we looked at the definition and it's talking about a higher force, um, it's talking about yielding control, it's talking about authority, a lot of that suggests a hierarchy, And a hierarchy really means that one person is above the other. And so that kind of really made me think, because I was thinking, wow, I'm really pro leadership in a relationship. So I'm not one of those women that feels like we should be 100% equal, you know, 50-50. I don't really feel like that. But at the same time, I would never have described our relationship as being a hierarchy per se, even though you need it. Mm. So, and I don't think of you as being a higher power or being more, you know, in more in a position of authority than me. And that's just because of the way our relationship is, not because it's a wrong way to look at things necessarily. But it was interesting to me because that's exactly the challenge that I was met with when I looked at the definition. Mm -hmm. I thought, wow, we don't talk about in that concept. We constantly talk about submission as you know, listening to your husband when he says something, letting your husband make the final decision. But all of that seems very much by choice. Yeah. Whereas submission in its purest form first requires establishing a hierarchy that is recognized and agreed by everyone involved. Yeah. Yes. You can't submit to a husband that you have not recognized their position in terms of the hierarchy in the relationship. And I don't think a lot of us are comfortable with that in a modern society. And we'll talk a bit more about tradition first and versus mm-hmm. modern. But it's weird because we, a lot of us consider ourselves modern women, but we talk a lot about submission. submission. And it's like, yeah. how much of that should be bleeding into each other, really? Yeah. And I guess also the terms that came up as well in the definition talk about obedience and compliance. Um, which suggests the decision is in someone else's hand, yeah. and the decision being in someone else's hand. It's not. It's not very marriage. Yeah. Friendly. <laughs> it is. It, it is a marriage friendly choice. Not in the way we kind of advocate yeah. for marriage. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, it's very like um, one person. One person. You know, he's the he he leads. He makes all the decision. He you know, take all the final decisions. So it's kind of like you know I don't have a say. Like one mm. person does not have a say in it. And and that's actually the. That is the submission in its purest form. form. It's, people I people don't that's, see it's because because, so because if you if you say that to someone and you you explain that to someone and say, oh by the way, that's submission. That's being submissive to to your husband. They'll they will turn around and say, no, that's not what I want. Mm. But because you want to have a say, exactly. But but they will say that they're submissive to their to their partner. So that it's not this kind of submission that we're talking about. Mm. They mean something else. You need to gain that clarity first of what it is before you make a decision if that's what you are saying. Before you say, I'm a submissive person. Submissive wife. Submissive wife, yeah. And I think that well, that's one of the things, you know, the, the difference between a relationship based around teamwork versus mm. a relationship based around submission. Submission, yeah. And we seem yeah. to be conflating the two. I agree. A lot of the time we talk about relationships as if we want relationships based on teamwork and yeah. partnership. Yeah. But then on the flip side, we talk about, well, women should be submissive. submissive. Yeah. yeah, A relationship based on submission is very different from a relationship is, based is on teamwork. Very, very different. You cannot have both. 
You think you, yeah. You cannot have both. You, can't have you cannot both. have both. If if you're in a submissive relationship where you're submitting to your husband, then you're not a team because he's the decision maker. He takes all the decisions. He doesn't factor in what you say because he, he can. He can well, choose he, the fact. He can choose the fact. But, but really, but should you, you be you saying would, anything? You would do when you're yielded to his superior to a superior force. Mm. You are literally putting all the decisions in his hands. Mm. So there is no teamwork there. Because the teamwork is when we make a decision together, it's an I factor in what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I, I put my point across. If I'm the one that's going to make the decision, if you want me to make the decision, I would ensure that I've taken in all what you've said. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the decision will have an angle of what you said. Yeah. There's always a factor of, okay, I'm, I'll try to find that sweet spot yeah. of what you want as well, as well as what I want. But in a submissive relationship, that will not be the case. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I heard what you said. But this is what we're going to do. Mm. That's what that's. But do you? Some people might say, yeah, but you can be in a submission, submissive relationship, and completely submit to your husband. But your husband completely chooses to take into consideration everything you say. But you're still a hundred percent submissive. Then you're not. You're not. You're not submitting. That's not submissive relationship. Why? Because you you respect your husband. You trust your husband to make the right decision. Mm. So you think you submit to him. If he factors in everything you say and he considers what you're saying and you can see the action he's taken has a lot of points that you've made, he respects you. So mm. that's no submissive relationship. But you can you respect, respect wife and, and still, she can still be submissive. Just because you have the final say doesn't mean you don't respect your wife. Do you think of submission as being a relationship with no respect? No, 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 no. I think, I think you're, you're mistaken what I'm saying. Mm. From the definition of submission, if a woman tells me that she's fully sub she's submissive to her husband, right? Mm. Then you have my question to her would be, how do you know you're submissive to your husband? Mm -hmm. Because there needs to be an element of, well, for, let me give you an example. Like if if we were making a decision or something, mm. in a submissive relationship, I will make the decision without you even knowing. Like we need to buy something. So we need a brand new TV. Yeah, I will go ahead and purchase the TV. And you will see, oh, that's that's a that's a lovely TV, darling. Yes, it's a lovely TV. How much was it? I told you the price, and that's it. Now, in a teamwork, in a if you submit to me, you can we can I can sit you down and say, Nuria, we need a new TV. Mm. Can we go for this list of TV? You gotta tell me the ones you like. I'll tell you the ones I like. We come to an agreement, kind of thing. Mm. But you're still putting that decision in my hands. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. There's all but it's not submission. It's, it's, it's not it goes teamwork it's, with leadership. With leadership, that's what I mean. Yeah. Fully submissive. There's some household I'm sure out there where the man takes all the decisions yeah. without the woman even being aware of it. Yeah. And he will probably delegate certain decisions to her, to like her. cooking, the kids, clothing, yeah. or stuff yeah. like that. But even in those things in a truly submissive relationship if he says i don't want you to cook this anymore she has to not cook it anymore because she's in a submissive relationship she's she's fully submissive in the relationship and if he says i don't want you to wear this anymore even though that is a decision that he's given her to choose whatever she wants to wear if he doesn't want her to wear that then it's not a case of she will decide whether or not to agree or disagree with him or take into consideration his opinion. His opinion is final because he is at the top of the hierarchy. He is the higher authority. He is the higher power. So his decision will be executed. So if he says you can't wear that anymore, it's not. there's no debate. You're in a submissive relationship. You choose to be submissive to your husband so you won't wear it. And so it's almost like he has the authority to make the, all the decisions, yeah. but he delegates certain decisions yeah. and he can still override you because yeah. he is it's, the recognized I, I'm authority. Gonna, I'm going to say this is going to sound very raw, but it's it's it sounds very controlling. Like mm. we can borderline control, controlling in a, in, a, in a marriage. I will say that because... <laughs> this, when you look at the situation you just given, where he says, I don't want you to wear that anymore. She stops wearing that. Like, I, I've never told you I don't want you to wear anything anymore. Mm. I've, I've seen some of the things you wear and I'm like, oh, okay, I like that. But do you want to try a different color? Mm. 
And then you try the fit, but you don't like it. I'm like, okay, well, I like that color. You you buy you purchase both colors because you know I like that color. That's me having an opinion mm. about what you're wearing. Now, if I say to you, no, you're not going to wear that color, and then you just stop wearing that. That's controlling. I and mean, the thing is, that is that is the authority given to the person who is the leader in a submission submissive mm. relationship. Like people would actually say, some people would argue that, well, why are you guys going to the extreme? All these controlling yeah. things. You can't wear this. You can't wear that. You mustn't do this. But the fact is, based on the pure definition of submission, if you really are submissive, that is the actual authority you should be giving the person mm. who you submit to. Yes. Because that's what it means. That's what so it if means. you hear that and you find that unsettling, maybe you are not ready to submit to someone in that context, in its true, purest context. Mm. I agree. And I think this is where some of the problem is because there is a difference between leadership in an environment cultivated around teamwork and partnership versus leadership in an environment cultivated around submission. Mm, yeah. And we conflate the two often. Yeah. I would say I am someone that thinks about, I always felt like submission was leadership, but it's not. No, Because like you said, if me and you are in a relationship and our relationship focuses on teamwork, mm -hmm. then I consider us a team. I think the best way to even think of it is, and it might seem extreme, but think of work, right? Where you have a line manager, um, you know, second in command and workers and whatnot. So the, the person that reports to the line manager or whatever. So you have a hierarchy. Within that hierarchy, you have you are a team. So you have your manager, you might have the supervisor, and then you have the people that work in that team. They are in a team. They expect, even if they're just a worker, that their opinion will be taken into that's consideration. A, that's, that's a perfect example. They expect a leader who takes into consideration everybody's views and makes a decision yeah. that really fits in with the culture of the team. And if you have a leader that tries to lead in a way that I consider would probably be more submission focused, if, if you're thinking about a relationship, mm -hmm. they will be seen as micromanaging, dictator, tyrant. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because they don't take into consideration anybody. And so what happens is people in that team start to leave. Yeah. They start to like um, rebel. Yeah. Um, and I think that that's the difference. Because to me, you could be a leader in a team and there'd be that mutual understanding, yes. that mutual respect. Yeah. But you are still given your position as the leader. You know. And I trust you to kind of lead us both. Yeah. Or you could be the one that's given ultimate power and... I trust you to lead us in absolutely everything. everything. You can lead us over a cliff, yeah. you know, and that's the kind of dictator type of um, relationships that, that are out there. Yeah. And that relationship, you're really at the mercy of the kind of man you mm. submitted to. Mm. You know, like a lot of people will not want to be in a relationship like that if they know that that's what being in a submissive relationship means. Uh, Even when they use the word submission, that I, I'm submissive to my husband, you'll find that they're not, really submissive to their husband mm. they're, they're, if you look within their, their relationship they probably they probably work as a as a team on most of the issues that they have or most of the decisions that they make mm. when you're applying for a job you 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 submit your cv you, you don't at, have a say you don't have a say you are at the mercy of the, the the person on the other side to make a decision to offer you an interview or not to offer you an interview yeah so you're submitting to them yeah it's as simple as that. submit an assignment they mark it they as mark they it wish as they wish there is no you don't, you don't, you don't sit with decision your, making. Your, your, sorry, you don't sit with your the lecturer and say, "Let's discuss what I've submitted to you." Mm. See, well, if you can come to a, an amicable agreement on the grades that I'm gonna <laughs> get. No, no, no. I've submitted my assignments. You mark it, and then you give me a mark. Yeah, and I have to accept your have to accept your mark. You know, yeah, that is a hundred percent true. And and I guess that is the difference between a relationship based on teamwork versus a relationship mm -hmm. based on submission. Another thing we wanted to touch on is how are roles and responsibilities linked to submission mm. then? And we've spoken in the past about roles and responsibilities and there's definitely a link here. What do you think? What's the link? I think traditional ideas mm. of submission versus modern ideas of submission. I think people do get them confused. Mm. I think there are people that are like literally skating on both sides. Okay. That makes sense. Mm. Like, for example, people want a traditional relationship, but they know certain things that they're willing to 
to do or stop doing. Mm. Um, the same thing with, with, with the submission. Yeah. Does that make sense? But elaborate. What do you mean there's certain things they don't want to stop doing? They want a traditional relationship. They want a traditional relationship. If you want a traditional relationship, then traditional relationship states that the woman should be at home, right? While the man works and pays all the bills, right? Yeah. That's a traditional, that's like the core. That's the role that's in a role. traditional relationship, yeah. So, but some people want that, but they still expect the woman to work mm. and still do all, all the other rest of the stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's like asking for a traditional relationship, but wanting to live in the modern, modern, world. modern world. Interesting, which we've kind of touched we've on touched in the part. With you. And the, the flip side to that is wanting a traditional relationship, but you don't want to submit to the man. The man, yes. From a female perspective, yeah. right? You want him to provide for you financially, to... Do everything. Do everything, protect the home, basically be the leader in, and in that traditional sense where it's he takes care of absolutely everything and you just look after the kids, which is not just because it's a, a lot of work, but mm -hmm. you look after the mm -hmm. kids in the home, mm -hmm. but at the same time, decisions about how money is spent you don't want to submit in that context you don't want yeah, but yeah. The, the, and how much of it is necessary it's necessary but the thing is the reason why people no one to submit because it doesn't come naturally to some, to a lot of people mm -hmm. doesn't feel right yeah. doesn't feel right because having an opinion about something someone listening to you your husband listening to you is important to you would be important to you you want to yeah. feel like you were important to him your views matter so even if he's the one taking care of everything, you still feel like he should still hear, hear, hear you out. Well. You shouldn't have to submit even in that sense. So I think, I guess what we're saying here is there is a link between roles and responsibilities and submission. But I think the link is not what we've just said. It, the link is not that if you want a traditional husband that pays for everything, you have to then 100% submit. That's not in, in the actual purest sense of the word as in recognize his authority. No, you might think that that's the link, but that's not necessarily the link because they're two separate things that you have to kind of reconcile mm -hmm. in a conversation between the two of you. Yeah. You need to reconcile the nature of your relationship. Are you guys going for that traditional model of he pays the bill, mm -hmm. she stays at home or one person maybe even she works and, and he stays at home and so it's a bit more modern or it's, it's different but then it's still a separate issue you can't take for granted what you guys are going to do when it comes to submission because mm -hmm. that doesn't automatically mean you would do that I with agree. submission i agree because we in our relationship we've had moments where frank has paid for everything but we've re retained our teamwork yeah you know, we, always, like we always, said in the past, always. we've gone through periods of 50-50. Yeah. We've gone through periods where Frank is paying for absolutely everything. So it really depends mm -hmm. on what's happening in our relationship. Yeah. But in all of that, what is constant is our relationship based on partnership and yeah. teamwork and like listening the, to each other. Yeah, we never, but with we, you as the leader. Yeah, but the thing, the thing is, we've never subconsciously and consciously, it, it never appeared to us to say, oh, now the dynamics is changing. Let's mm -hmm. discuss Submission. Submission. <laughs> let's let's, let's, let's who, it just, yeah. we just came naturally mm. that we did everything together. We 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 discussed everything. It's like it was a case of doesn't matter what's happening, who's the breadwinner or whatever. Mm. We, we we're gonna decisions are gonna be made jointly. Mm. That was just it. It's true. Yeah, it was just it. And I think that's how it should be in relationships. Um, you know, the marriages. Yeah, it should always be like that. Because mm. if you have to sit down and discuss the dynamics of oh. Okay, am I gonna be submitting to you this 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 couple of six this couple of months because <laughs> you're not working, or or you you know you must have feeling like that as as yeah. a, as a woman because he's now the breadwinner. He you know you're now a stay at home mom. If you have to think to yourself, oh, how am I going to approach this? Yeah, do I would I have a say in things that happen in the house because because I'm sure a lot of people go through that. Yeah, and I think it's because of preconceived notions. Notion. People feel that if you are gonna be the breadwinner, then automatically you get submission and yeah. it's like not necessarily yeah. because you still have to decide what each of you think and feel about submission mm. it's all about the health having the healthy relationship yeah like, but just to ask you i mean you think of yourself as the leader in this relationship right mm -hmm. so some someone might ask you well why do you reject this position of higher power higher authority i, re I reject it with a passion <laughs> because I don't need you to submit to me. All I need is for you to respect my leadership. Mm. Because I feel like 
there is a, isn't that a, there is a lot of love in in where someone respects you when your mm-hmm. wife respects you then when your wife says well it's all up to you it's all up to you no when I make a decision I I know that I'm making a decision having spoken to you having considered what you have to what you how you feel about it mm. that's when I consider that a proper decision yeah do you understand. So you feel I, like I can, I can make a lot of decisions on my own, but it doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right because I respect you. I would want your opinion on something, even if I, even if I just, I, re, I already know the answer. I already know the decision that I'm going to take. But a lot of times when I speak to you, you give me a different perspective to what I was, what I was originally thinking. Mm. So that's important. Like that, when I bring that in, I can make an informed decision. I prefer it when you come along with me to making that decision than when I take that decision by myself. And do you think there's been times in our relationship where I've just said, you decide? Yeah, you've done that. Like, I mean, simple things like, where are we going to eat? Or what are we going to eat? You like, you never but want... you told me, you, I'm like, no, babe, what do you want to eat? Like, I hate it. I know, I know. Do you want to eat? I know. Oh. But I still, I know what I want to eat most of the time. Well, I just want, because I, I, I want you to think as well. Because <laughs> it's important what you want to eat. And this is just like the simplest kind of decision that we have to make in our relationship. Yeah. But I just feel like, you know, considering your opinion is important. It's always it's important. that. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? Thing where no, no, if you have that in your relationship where, you, you know, you're with your partner, you're with your husband, then you guys are like, oh, babe, but what do you want to eat? Just know at that point in time, you guys consider each other's decisions. Mm. You're, not, you're, not in a, you're not in a submission, submissive relationship. <laughs> trust me. Because a submission relationship, a man will pick up his keys and say, right, we're going out to eat and you will get to where you're going to eat. You will find out where you're going to eat. When you, when you, when you get there. have to be the cup I know, but I'm just saying, he, or, he can, or he can say, babe, we're going to have pizza today. Done. And you're like, but... It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. That's it. <laughs> you hear the doorbell, the pizza man is delivering the pizza. He doesn't even ask you what you want, what type of pizza you want. You see what I'm That's- saying? Oh, no, I know. I know, I know. Okay, well, let's put it this way. <laughs> that is not necessarily <laughs> how a submissive relationship has to run, but that is the level of authority that that person, if it is being done in the purest form, can exercise, and it shouldn't be a listen, problem because that is what a submission I don't, is. I don't, listen, I'm not I'm not saying I have issues with, actually, I do have issues with submi- <laughs> submission relationship. I'm not going to lie about that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, but, in his purest, in his purest form, and I think that's Sub- the difference. Submission can start off subtle, but with time, it can become extreme. That's the risk of it. That's why I don't mm. like it. That's why I don't like it because in a relationship or in a marriage, <laughs> you grow together, right? Yeah. People change, so someone could become more demanding in a relationship. Mm. So the submission could become, in the case of where it, be, it started it off as a, something that's toxic, that, yeah, comes then, negative. Yeah, it could easily. I'm not saying it will. But it could easily lead yeah, to that. I think one of the best ways to think of it is because there's actually examples of, you know, very traditionally submissive relationships around the world. And you can even see the um the butting of heads, I should say, but you can see the the way the West rejects it. So for example, if you think of even like the Bible, Islam, this this similar connotations about submission and this mm-hmm. this notion that the man has the position of authority, right? Mm-hmm. And if you think of countries or cultures where that is really adhered to, which is very traditional, you can you start to see things like which I think might have actually been um, lessened now. Some of it is a bit looser now, but like the woman can't drive without the man. Mm-hmm man's permission mm. she can't be certain places without being accompanied by a father or a brother or a husband that kind of thing mm. so there is there is examples in the world of relationships mm. where the authority is completely given to the man and it's complete submission mm. um and even the laws will not lean towards equality in any way in that sense right yeah um but that doesn't mean that those relationships or places where that kind of submission in its purest form are exercised are necessarily negative That's because true. the women in those relationships are fully aware of the type of relationship they're in, they're in and they understand how it works. And there's reasons behind it. So a lot of the times we look at it in the West and think, 
oh, but that's so primitive or that's so backwards or why is that mm. so unequal? But there's actual legitimate reasons for it. Some people will say things like, you know, the woman always being with a male figure affords her protection. Mm. You know, True. we all know that women are more vulnerable than men. So having a male figure present with you in certain places mm. is a form of protection, yeah. right? So yeah. it's yeah. it's not necessarily always in the way that some people may view it in the West yeah. as being some sort of dicta dictatorial environment where the woman is being suffocated. But at the same time, because of the nature of submission and a culture where the authority is given to the man to that degree, mm. there is the possibility yeah. of abusing yeah. that power. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where I think you have that apprehension to it because there is, there is if you're really going to submit, you really are leaving the power in that person's hand. You are. You are. And that's what you should be doing if yeah. you're truly saying you're submitting. Yeah. Um, you can then obviously, if they're an abusive person, get out of that relationship. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you choose to submit to a man. He turns out to be a tyrant. Yeah, you have to, you stay, have to stay, stay with him. Yeah. No, that's not what we're saying. But yeah. we're saying the level of authority that comes with true submission is one that actually allows a potential abuse of power if that person so chooses to use it in that way. Yeah. And then you have to decide whether or not you want to continue in that relationship. Mm -hmm. And maybe go into another submissive relationship and then maybe that guy is actually really great with it and he knows yeah. how to really not be a dictator and lead yeah. properly. Yeah, that's a good point. That's but do you see what I'm yeah. saying? There isn't there is an element there that we I think sometimes we miss where we talk about submission in the Western world and we talk about it from this very I submit to you, you submit to me. And it's like mm. not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> submission in its purest form is one, one person, person with the yeah. with the power it's not equal power it's not yeah. that's more teamwork yeah. partnership that that then equality. that kind of leads to our, our second question of can you have joint submission mm -hmm. submit to each other which yeah. i don't think you can yeah yeah as you know from the definition of, of what submission is you kind of both submit to each other mm. that's what that's you know, that's another issue that i have with it because it's like I think that's the main issue yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. I think we talk about it in today's day and age in modern relationships as submitting to each other, mm. and that's probably what you don't mm. like because you know that the definition of the word does not allow submitting to each other to per each se. Other. Yeah, yeah. It, it allows respect. Respect each, each other, yeah. and that's why I think when some people think about submission, they they in their head is respect that they're looking for. Mm. No submission. Mm. I, I need a woman to to, to, to to submit. No, no, you need a woman to respect you, mate. Yeah, no, submit to you. Yeah, that's how I see it. Yeah, use the right word. <laughs> use the right word, mate. No, think about it before you you speak. Like, don't. It's about women these days are submissive enough. That, no, no, no. Women these days, for one reason or another, are not respecting you. You have to earn the respect, right? You have to do the right thing to earn the respect. That's what that's what you're trying to say. Don't talk about women all this also because if you're the right guy for someone, they will respect you. Yeah. It's, it's as simple as that. But people will say so I've heard a lot a lot a few men say, Oh, women, you know, back in those days, women used to be more submissive. Who told you that? Eh? Who told you that? <laughs> Is that what they told you? Right? <laughs> I mean the men back in those days, they got respected because of what they did. They worked hard. Well, I'm not saying men are not working hard these days, but they, they worked hard. They looked after the home. So the women respected. So it felt like the women submitted to them. But you find that uh, quite a lot of the women ran the home. Mm -hmm. They made a lot of decisions. The man just worked. And as long as everyone was fine, everyone was healthy, mm -hmm. they were happy. The women run the, they ran the home. Yeah. But the women respect the men because the men were able to provide. Mm, so you're saying... What some people talk about today as submission might not have actually been submission. No, I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I think it's respect, hardcore respect. Mm -hmm. That word was, is very, very important. Mm. Very, very important. So respect is earned. It's not something that you're just giving like it's, you know, like how 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 kids get you know a bagel in, you know in the playground. <laughs> they don't give them out like that. You know you you've got to earn it. Our kids get um, bagels in the school playground and they're free bagels sometimes. You know <laughs> that's why I, I, don't know, I don't know why. I get what you're saying. I totally get what you're saying. I totally get what you're saying because 
there is an element when I think of and I'm gonna go back to my grandmother <laughs> my grandfather when I think of them if you talk about submission in the purest sense mm -hmm. my grandmother herself it's true would have respected her husband because of what she got from him from you know how well he looked after the family how well he led mm -hmm. but there was things that my grandfather did that my grandmother was I mean like I, I've, I've said it before when he married more than one wife and stuff that she went off she was livid and that was clearly not a submission type of relationship because yeah. if it was she would not have she would not have gone off like that and it wouldn't have been an issue and it wouldn't have because in a submitted relationship there is an element of his decision goes and in a relationship like they were in that time there was an acceptance that a man could choose to marry more than one wife that yeah. wasn't unusual yeah. Yeah. so the fact that he did that and she was not happy and publicly not happy about it mm. shows that it wasn't submission was it it was a relationship built on respect yeah. and when that respect was lost over time yeah. you know what i mean the relationship broke down yeah, yeah. Because it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't submission. It no. wasn't a hundred percent submission. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. Mm. I think there is a clear distinction between respect and S submission. Submission. There is. And there's a, a lot of conflating of the I, truth. I, I, I the two. So I believe. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, a lot of women these days as well talk about. You know, there is this notion of a modern woman will submit to a worthy leader. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Because we all know that in today's day and age, in some in modern relationships, it is a lot more equal. And in my opinion, women seem to be wanting it to be based more on teamwork, whilst yeah. men are still talking about mm. the the olden. And it 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 it, go, it goes back to what I just said about respect. There are some men that just want the respect mm. and leadership to be handed over to them. It's like they yeah. get they get in a relationship where they get married and it's like an automatic thing. It's kind of like you know you you get a new job, get that promotion, you get that. You, you know, some some people get into a new job, they expect a promotion. So you haven't done anything yet. So then you've got to work hard to get that promotion, right? You've got to work hard. So I get it. So when you say no, you know there's a notion of modern women submitting to a worthy leader, I think it's right. I totally agree with it. You think that that's the way it should be? I I think that's the way it should be, and I think that's how it was before. Mm. That's how it was. Speak before. on it. That's why. It why do worked. you think it's how it was before? Because everyone played their role. Mm. Roles were defined. Everyone stuck to their role. You know, you heard stories about oh, the man back in those days were the man would work, go out to work. The woman looked after the house. They both understood what they needed to do. Mm. The woman respected the man for doing what he was doing. The man respected the woman for what. Hence, why I said earlier on that the woman was the one that took care of the house. Mm. Nowadays, in the modern way, some of the men want the women to take care of the house at the same time, go out to work, at the same time, do other things. Mm. If you have that, then where are you going to get the respect from? Because the woman feels that she's doing everything. So how is she going to respect So you're you? saying in that case, he's not a worthy leader? Because he's not leading properly, especially if the roles are not established. Mm. You might be in a relationship, you're happy in a relationship, but... You're not quite sure who should be doing what. <laughs> yeah. You have to define the roles and responsibilities in in the relationship or in your marriage. I agree. I see what you're saying. And I think for me as well, this notion of a modern woman submitting to a worthy leader is interesting because like we said before, the term submission is being misused already, right? So then if you're talking about submitting to a worthy leader, mm -hmm. you're really talking about, like you're saying, a man that can actually earn the respect that you need him to have in order to submit to him yeah. so now but now it can it can sound like we're actually confusing conflating the two because we're saying we don't necessarily agree with submission in a relationship in that way right mm -hmm. but yet you said you think that a modern woman submitting to a worthy leader is right but how is no no i said sort of I, if i said that what i'm trying to say that a modern woman would respect when we said submit to a worthy leader, yeah, a mother woman, because when we talk about submitting, it's basically a mother woman would give respect to yeah. a worthy leader. I don't think give they would give yeah. leadership. They would, they would, they would hand the leadership over to you. 
but they'll still be part of that team. They'll still yeah. be part of that decision making. Yeah. I don't think modern women would just hand over everything to, to a man and say, you make all the decisions. Yeah, I, I trust you. I submit. completely submit. No, I don't think it works like that. No, because that's probably having the kind of relationship that we're talking about where yeah. you're fully submissive. Yeah. So modern women, a lot of them would not submit yeah. because there is... They're, they're so, not so, having so a that, fully so subversive notion, relationship so anyway. Notion, I don't believe that notion. I think women are being confused. Yeah. I think they're looking for a worthy man that they can, respect. they can respect that and they can that they can trust to lead. Mm. That's what they're looking for. It's not about they're looking for someone to submit to. No, 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 no. They're looking for someone that can lead the family. Someone that can lead from the front. Yeah, that's what they mean. And then men are looking for submission, and because of the because of the fact that. The term submission means what it means. When the two talk about it, women are talking more about respect and leadership. Men are talking more about hardcore submission. Like, like submission. don't argue with me yeah. too much. Yeah. Don't back chat. Yeah. Don't this and yeah. that. Yeah. And that's much more. That That's not even what those women no, are signing not, up for. It's not. That's what, when it's I, not when, even when conducive I, when, to a healthy relationship. When I've asked, when I've asked um, men in the past about, because they say, oh, no, I, I, really, I really like her because she's, She's submissive. When you ask them about what does she do that shows you this submission, a lot of it is respect. Mm. A lot of it is the leadership. She has given you the she's given you that mantle for you to stand on as mm. the leader. Mm. Yeah. And she will support you to lead the family. That's not submitting. Mm. She's working with you to lead the family. That's true. And in a way, I've often said this in conversations with some of my girlfriends where when I think about submission, and this is where it's so confusing because I have, it seems that my own mind has been confused about submission because on the one hand, I would say, yeah, I'm submissive. But then on the other hand, when I actually break down the way I feel about um, roles in relationships, mm -hmm. hierarchies mm -hmm. and everything else, mm -hmm. it's actually not very submissive because yeah. I always talk about okay, if we're going to use the concept of a king and a queen, a woman is the queen. The king is supposed to lead the queen, right? Mm -hmm. But the queen still has authority. The queen still has the right to evaluate the king that's, because that's she's not the, second the in command. Court and queen's king's court. court. Yeah. That's so she still that. has that position of authority. Whereas mm -hmm. in a relationship of full submission, I don't necessarily think that that's how it plays out because the king is more final it's like what he says is final everybody else is below the king but in terms of how i view it i clearly don't view it in that way because i see the king and queen ruling right the king is the leader but the queen is second in command and she has to lead if the king is unfit to lead do you see what i'm saying so i've always thought of it in that concept i don't think of you as being a king where even if you're leading us astray i have to follow you mm. because to me I also have a position of authority. We're a team in that sense, right? You're the yeah. leader. But if I can see that your judgment is being clouded or you've lost your your mm. kind of morals, mm. I can take over leadership and say, no, I'm not going to allow you to lead us astray. And that might mean, you know, us not being together anymore. But because I recognize my position as the queen, I have to judge your decision making. Yeah. I have to evaluate you yeah. as well. For your own good. Yeah. You know, that's what they talk about checks and balances. Mm -hmm. You can't be left to just do whatever, no matter what effect it's having on mm -hmm. our kingdom, which is essentially our family, mm -hmm. our children and our household. Yeah. And, you, um, and you also, I mean, you often find that that's probably why sometimes relationships, marriages do not work out. Mm -hmm. If you really dig deep into them, you see that, you know, authority was being checked, was being uh, challenged mm -hmm. because the woman failed you know, she was starting to feel like, no, he's not leading us in the right path. Mm, and he and the man feels like she should be far too submissive yeah. to even challenge challenging my authority. My my yeah. thought process, yeah. which is yeah. not the case. Yeah. She should challenge your thought process. You your thought process should be challenge proof. Yeah. It should be. It should be challenge proof. Right. You know, to stand your ground and say, right, okay, thank you for, for bringing this to me. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you, look as as a man I constantly check myself. Yeah. I constantly check the decisions that I, I take before I take them or decisions I've made. If it's wrong, we will sit down and talk about it. But you constantly check me on that as well. Mm. So if you can't even do that, then what type of relationship is that? And I think some people might misunderstand um, what I'm saying when I say like she should be able to check you, challenge you. 
that doesn't mean that I feel that you should you should lose respect. The, the respect within challenge should always be there. So it's about how you challenge. It's about how you check your husband, right? So I don't, just because I'm saying that my position as a queen allows me to evaluate my husband's decisions and it allows me to give my opinion on what I think of his decisions or for us to kind of, you know, for me to kind of give him the checks and balances, it doesn't mean that I should be disrespectful, that I should come at him from some um, authoritative position or, and this is, we spoke about this in our previous episodes, mm -hmm. like the way I used to speak was too authoritative. Yeah. And it wasn't the fact that I was checking your thought process or I was disagreeing. It was the tone that I tone. was using to check yeah. you. It was the yeah. tone that I was yeah. using to challenge you. So instead of challenging his thought process and saying, well, why do you think that? And us having a very amicable relationship where we're talking about things in a very calm way, it's argumentative, yeah. it's authoritative. Mm. So it's not the challenging it's the actual way you challenge. But when men get challenged nowadays, I think a lot of them, they don't even want the challenge yeah. at all. If the woman corrects how she's talking to you, will you accept the challenge? Yeah. Will you accept the, the check? Will you accept the disagreement? Or are you going to see it as disrespect because she's not yeah. submissive? And, and, and I think, yeah, that's a, that's a really good, that's a really good point. But I, I do think that some people would, they would just try to dismiss it by just saying, She's not, yeah. yeah, she's not submissive. She you knows she's disrespectful. This is that, you know, even though the tone sounds fine, does he know? Mm. So, because it's still a challenge, it's still, it's still a, a check. Yeah, and in that case, you're with the wrong woman because yeah. most modern women will not, like we're saying, mm. on the actual pure way of thinking about mm. submission, they won't submit mm. because that's not the kind of relationship they want. They bring too much to it to. Yeah. Fully but but, but even as a man, right? If I was with a woman that's just fully submissive like that, I would find her very boring. No, no, no I'm just, I'm just yeah. thinking about. I've just, I've just sat here thinking about it. Like, if you were different and you, you know, you never questioned me on anything. You never like, you just let me just make all the decisions. You just, you know, just all you just focus on is the house and just the kids. You, you don't have an opinion about anything. I would find you quite, quite dull actually. Mm. Like, yeah, that's that's not. The marriage I want to be in, yeah. So the marriage I want to be in, there's no fun in that. Like it's like okay, so I can I can take all the decisions. What's the fun in that? Mm. There's no fun in that. And that's what I mean. It's true. There is the way we want modern relationships to be is not the way they were traditionally. No, no. And maybe and even traditionally, we might have a warped view of what it was traditionally no, no. because maybe there was a lot more joint decision making than we thought. But what was clear was the respect. And maybe yeah. modern men are misunderstanding what was going on, like you're yeah. saying. Maybe yeah. they're misunderstanding yeah. what was happening in the past. It was the respect that was highlighted and it was evident. And maybe that was because the, the men earned their respect. Yeah. The women earned their respect too, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's not just the men here. The women earned their respect yeah. too by being um, probably more, more demure, more composed. Mm more respectful, more respectful in the way they spoke, yeah. more yeah. approachable. So there's, you know, th there's probably a lot of negatives that have come into womanhood in today's day and age because of all the kind of independence that women have gained, yeah. that they may be a lot more likely to talk in a certain way or yeah. approach things in a yeah. certain way, which is then further confusing the situation. Yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't have to be the case. If you fully understand what submission is, yeah. you both agree what you think it is, and then you both decide mm. what kind of relationship you're aiming for. Oh, yeah. What are your expectations? Yeah. Those yeah. things need to be defined. They do. They do. Just just as with the roles and responsibilities, you need to yeah, mm -hmm. it's very very important because there's a lot of confusion out there about what it means and. Yeah. So I guess on the question, can you have joint submission? We don't think you can. We don't. Not in the purest sense no. of the... No, not at all. No. Do you think there's a difference between submission in relationships versus submission in marriage? I mean, when we spoke about rules and responsibility, we say, you know, you need to start off as you mean to carry on, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I think you need to establish that. Mm -hmm. Like if you're in a serious relationship, it needs to be defined. You need to agree what type of relationship you want to have or what mm. relationship you have it before you before you get married, get married. Yeah. so um, yeah yeah 
and I think relationships might also be where you get to explore different versions yes. of the concept before, yes. before you get to marry to thing. find yeah. out what works for you. Yeah. Maybe if you you know you do a year of full submission, <laughs> <laughs> you could try. You could try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be like for six months. I'm going to submit all to you. <laughs> yeah, let's just for six months and see how it works out. Yeah, see what the guy becomes. Does he like it? Does he get that power trip? <laughs> you know, you know, right? Yes. You know, in a relationship, I think yeah. I guess there is a difference between submission in a relationship versus in marriage, in the sense that in marriage it's too late. It might be too late. <laughs> <laughs> In marriage, no, I think the difference is in a relationship, you're submitting without commitment, in my opinion. Yes. yes you don't have yes, that full blown yes, commitment. I don't think, I think you point. have no business. In the purest sense of the word yeah. submission, yeah. yeah, we're talking, because remember, we have a very clear definition. Yes. If you do want to have one of those relationships where, you know, he has all the authority, the decision is, yeah, and you agree to it, you understand what it is. In a relationship, I think that's. That's way too soon. I don't think you shouldn't be doing that. I think you should be looking to build respect. I think you should be trying to um, make sure that this is the man that you can submit to when you're married. Mm. I really don't think it has any business in a relationship. Yeah. In a marriage, once you are married and you have that committed relationship and you know for a fact mm. that you two are in it for the long haul, if you then choose to have a submissive relationship where he does make all the decisions and he has all the same, yeah. he's happy with that too. He likes it. Yeah. He doesn't find it boring the way you do. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I think, yeah, in a marriage it could work, but I yeah. think it's that's not, true. it's not for relationships. That's true. But yeah, that's a, you, that, what you just said there does just trigger something in my head, right? Submission in a marriage, right? Mm. At its purest form, part, if both parties agree, mm. it could be a, a beautiful thing. Mm. Because what the what would tend to happen sometimes, like the man is taking the power, the woman's still giving him the power. Mm. Come on now, <laughs> that part, yeah. that the part. Still giving him the power, but he's he wants to take the power, so he's pulling. She's not giving anything. She's mm. putting back. He's trying to pull. Trying to no, it's not working. If they both agree. This is why, why, why we're talking about this. It's a, it's a case of the woman says that, oh, I, I love my husband. I want to submit my, I want my husband to take decision. I like a man that takes every decision because there will, there will be women yeah. out there. Yeah, and there are. And then that's great. They could, they could be in a long, long relationship, a healthy relationship, and everything, everything's fine. But when you get up to a place where the man wants submission, but the woman is like, not what today, have you done to not it? today, <laughs> like not today, you're not getting it today. <laughs> Um, then, you know, <laughs> then it's like what what do you do then yeah and that's because it's not clear it's not, clear. It's not clearly defined because i think i think the what the woman is refusing to give him is un unearned power that's what i'm saying yeah that's what i'm saying and that is where it's that kind of a woman will submit to a worthy thing a worthy um leader yeah because there's a sense of earned leadership so it's for one, it's not even it's not full submission anyway, because you're using your own autonomy to decide whether or not that person is actually worthy of it. So in a way, he's submitting his application <laughs> yeah. for leadership to you and you are rejecting it because yeah. you are the person if you don't you yeah. don't trust his leadership. Yeah. You've seen qualities in him that mm. that does that does not confirm leadership yeah. in him. That's why there's a that pushback. So you're just not going to get that you're submission. Just not get that. And I think this is the problem where in some relationships and even in some marriages where you know they've gone into the marriage without defining submission. And I'm not going to act like we're perfect. We didn't define yeah. submission. This well, we did, but 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 we were. But not, we were on the same page. We were on I guess. the same page. I think we ever since we got together, we've always done things together. We've always like yeah, we were, we were about so like yeah yeah. I was never trying to like you know. Drag for an application for leadership or some <laughs> total submission. I've never really like felt like that. And you've yeah. never been there trying to be like, I submit my all to you. So we've never like had that like, oh my God, she's she's offering me this. Like, what do I do? Yeah. It's just been like a Yeah, we're just on the like, same page. On the same page, yeah. team working. So we never need to discuss that. Yeah. And I think maybe a lot of people go into relationships thinking they don't need to discuss it. Mm -hmm. And then the problems arise, like you're saying, where he's mm -hmm. dragging 
for leadership and he's dragging for submission and she's like no you haven't yeah. earned it i really i really believe that as a man when you show your qualities mm. as a leader the respect whatever you do want to call it submission it's come. not submission it, it's yeah. not submission but it will come the like respect, automatically yeah. you will get it like deep down as a man we know what we need to do let's mm. not pretend we know what we need to do so the ones out there that are not doing it you know you are lying to yourself <laughs> you know what you need to do no we know what we need to do to, to gain respect well, what do they need women. to do what do they need to do oh. to gain respect from women what would you tell men they need to do to gain respect from from my pure my pure the purest 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 frank <laughs> is respect your woman respect your woman when i say respect your woman you need to put your woman first right you need to put your woman first yeah. that's the key thing you've got to prioritize her when you start prioritizing her everything she stands for yeah the rest will fall in place that's that's my belief so when you talk about like you know what can guys do out there in the simplest form it doesn't it doesn't necessarily require cash I was going to ask you that. Is submission because ever about money? It's not, I've not. It's not about money. I don't think it's about money. You know, something's mm. in the word submission. I don't like it. But it's <laughs> not. But if we're going to talk about okay, it. Okay, but does... does um, let's replace it with respect. Mm. Even though this is about... this. It's, it's, this conversation. Okay, well, let's ask it in both ways. Does respect in a relationship ever... Re no. Deny money? No, okay, it's not no. about money. I guess he's respect asked... Respect really is not about money. Yeah. Submission is not about money. Nothing is about money because... You can do things without money. Yeah. You can gain a lot of respect. Because if you start gaining respect with money, ah, that's not respect now. <laughs> you are buying everyone now, aren't you? Right? <laughs> Potentially. You are buying respect. There are people out there that buy respect. Yeah. So, you know, you, you people, you want to show off your buy Lamborghini. You're, you're buying respect. You want people to respect you because you've got a nice car. Mm, fair enough. Yeah. So, it doesn't require respect. As I say, put your woman first. Just mm -hmm. sitting down, talking to her, getting to know, as we said in our previous podcast about, you know, getting to know her, you know, getting her to be vulnerable with you. Mm. That's putting her first. That, that will command respect. You don't need money to do any of that. Um. Okay. And then, but if you have, and I've said this before as well, I agree with you. I don't think, I don't think even to have submission in the purest form, I don't even think you do need to have money. You will, You can have a woman that has makes way more money than the guy has all the money he submits yes. all the money she submits all, all the money, money to him, him and he makes all the decision because right. that's the kind of relationship they because choose to have he can trust him she knows that he will lead the family will lead the team on the right path yeah in a fully or submit. that's just how she wants it to be yeah and that's not about money but the thing is there is already that uh, that respect like you're saying right yeah. the respect is there and you can have a man that has all the money in the world and he's in a relationship and he's getting zero submission mm. because he doesn't he has money but he yeah. doesn't show the woman that he can be trusted he that he loved her. her he values he her exactly he doesn't value her so she would never risk doesn't matter how much money he has yeah she would never respect him she would never she submit, submit to no yeah. she just wouldn't that's why sometimes you get a lot of people that are wealthy and mm. can't even hold the relationship. Yeah. Because they're yeah. not doing the right thing. They think they can probably throw money at everything. Yeah, 100%. And it doesn't work. It doesn't so it's work. not even it's about, about money. Because a lot of men in today's day and age would say, oh, women are not respecting us because of the money. And it's like, yeah. no. I know. I'm yes and no. In the sense that maybe yes, in the sense that maybe they're not respecting you because of the money because you're showing a lack of um, drive a drive you're yeah. showing a lack of yeah. um, sound judgment maybe you're yeah. showing a but, but don't get, a lack of don't get me wrong if a guy is one of these lazy not trying to get a job just you know living off the woman no one's going to respect you and that could be about money yeah but she's, she not, wants to be looked after she yeah. wants if she, she wants, wants to be, feel protected wants to feel protected she wants to feel like oh if I'm going to have a, a long term relationship with this man mm. If I'm, if we're gonna have kids, I know this man can provide for us. And so it is about money, it's about, but it's, it's not about one, money. But it's not about money, yeah. yes, son. If it makes yeah. that makes sense, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The what, the money is what is how is steering their decision the because decision. that's what you're demonstrating. Yes. An inability to to lead 
effectively or to work hard enough to lead. Yeah. Um, but then it's not about money in the sense that you could have that money and still be in that same position. Yeah. Exactly. Because if you've exactly. demonstrated the exactly. same kind of behavior in exactly. other ways. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. Boy, so we have covered a lot. We've covered if you can ever have joint submission. We've covered if there's a difference between submission and relationship versus marriage. We've talked about submission ever being about money. Okay, so one of the last questions, how can you balance individual autonomy with submission in a marriage? And we, again, the word submission is a mess, but let's think of the word leadership. You know, how can you balance individual autonomy if we've decided that, okay, you're not fully submitting, but you're allowing your husband to lead or, or you're allowing your partner to lead? How do you balance having your own individual autonomy versus that leadership that you've kind of given to someone else without submitting fully? Leaders break people along with them give yeah. them so you will feel like a team so there will mm. there's, a, there's all there will always be a balance there because mm. you feel like you're actually in a relationship mm. he's leading but you're not being led like that like you're actually he's like you know you're supporting his leadership yeah per se so i guess in your answer you're saying in the traditional sense of the word submission there is no individual autonomy per se no and that's why you have an issue with it that's that we've issue. already established. Because yeah. it's not it's not about individual autonomy in the marriage it, no. that's based on submission. It's about that leadership. So leadership. trying to have that kind of individual autonomy is actually going against it the is. submission that it you're, is. you it said is. you've given. It is. Yeah. yeah. So really, that's why we're talking about leadership. Yeah. Because we're saying, well, you can have individual autonomy in a team-based relationship mm. that's based on mm. leadership. Mm. Because in that case... You can keep your sense of self so that you can check the decisions, the decisions. that your partner's yes, making. Yes, you yes. can also remember that you have your own way of thinking that you share it yes, yes. and that you, you you make sure that you're yes. heard and listened to and you bring issues to your partner. Keep your individual interests, activities, mm -hmm. your hobbies, mm -hmm. other relationships mm -hmm. with your friends, True. family, make new friends, that kind of things as well. What were you going to say? You were going to say something. I was going to add something to that. I just thought about something like, as true leaders, right, if you bring your partner on, mm. on the journey, like, you know, with decision making, you often find that more often than not, you're left to make decisions. Mm. It's kind of like a natural thing. Yeah. That may be seen as submitting. Some people will see that as, like, oh, she lets him make all the decisions. She doesn't seem too bothered about mm. you making a decision because you don't know what they've been through. You don't know how he's been leading mm. that relationship, that marriage that has gone her to that point where she's just confident in what he's, she, what he's saying. She says, yes, like, oh, you know what's best. Mm. Because they've been in that situation before where he's then led, he's made a decision. And, and, it's, turned and, that. and it's turned that purpose. So she's kind of like, yeah, you know, yeah. so. Even even if you want to start, if you want to go to the submission side of things, which I don't want to, but <laughs> if we're talking about that, like it's something that will happen naturally, even if, if it's gonna happen. Mm. Is it? Yeah, it will happen. If if a woman, if a woman wants to get to that to get to that total submission, that, like it yeah. will happen naturally. Mm -hmm. It won't be a, a like okay, I've marked your work now. I will now give you submission. No, no, no. no. It will just happen without you even noticing. You realize that, oh, I'm actually in a submissive relationship or a submissive marriage. So you think, so in a way we're saying it seems to start with that leadership assignment and then through to submission. It could do. Yeah. But, in, but in that healthy way, I in guess. In that healthy maybe, way, yeah. not in that kind of like, it's, it's you know, it's forced yeah. or it's like, oh. It's there from inception, there from regardless. Inception, regardless. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. That's not natural. It's not natural at all. And I guess my advice as well is if you do want to be in a submissive relationship 100% where you really do give the decision to your partner and this is advice to women, um, I would say perhaps exercise and you still want to have that sense of self and autonomy, then maybe exercise more autonomy somewhere else in your life to balance that out, mm -hmm. Do you know, so, so that you don't kind of feel f helpless and powerless. Mm -hmm. Maybe you... You know, and this is where it's interesting because people will think, oh, you're such a strong, independent woman. You work and da 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 da. She must be so um, authoritative at home. Not necessarily, because maybe she's in a relationship where she's very submissive, but 
in her career, she's very authoritative and very independent. It doesn't have to cut across the board in your life. You mm. could be submissive to your husband because you trust him mm. in that complete submission way where you know that even if he tells you he doesn't want you to wear that, he's not coming from a bad place. So you mm. actually will mm. not wear that mm. or you will not eat that or you True. will. So you give him yeah. that power to make all of those decisions yeah. because you feel he's worthy and maybe he financially takes care of everything and you're happy with that arrangement. Mm -hmm. But you might want to keep some autonomy, then maybe look at keeping that autonomy in your career or in your um maybe the hobbies that you do doing things that are very you know you focused and mm, maybe creative true, things true. that allow you to kind of make decisions on maybe like mm. i do a lot of songwriting for example that's a very autonomous mm. hobby because mm. it's it's very creative i pull from within i, I make the decision on the melody and mm. the words mm -hmm. and, so there's a, there's other ways you can balance that out if you do want to be submissive mm true but yeah so to sum up the final take and i guess everybody already knows the answer do we think submission is necessary for a relationship to thrive do you think it is in the purest sense of the word no no and you hate it <laughs> so it's like actually i don't like that word i don't want to use that word <laughs> no i don't like the word but if you're gonna be throwing the word around you need to understand what it means mm. and if you want to being in a submissive relationship, you have to ensure you yourself and your partner understands what it means uh -huh. to be submissive in a relationship. And you have that agreement. And we have the agreement. Mm. If you have that in place, I'm, yeah, that's it. I'm happy with that. with that. I'm good with that. But and I don't think you need it for the relationship to, to thrive. I think without it, I think relationship will be healthy. Yeah, yeah. as long as there's respect. As as there's respect. And respect yeah. is the key. Yeah. And I guess my answer would be, it's only necessary for a relationship to thrive if one of you has it as an expectation or a standard. And that's where that communication comes. Yeah. And it's the same thing you're saying. Yeah. You know, if you have it as an expectation, as a man, for example, that you want a fully submissive woman, you don't want to be argued with, you want to make all the decisions, it needs to be an expectation and a standard that's communicated from the beginning. And you have to know what you bring to the table and whether or not that warrants a woman fully submitted yeah. to you, in, even in your own opinion. Yeah. If you feel yeah. that that does, that is not, yeah, and, and, and if you if you're a man that uh, likes submission to the court, there's a there will be a woman out there for you. There'll there'll be find a woman that would that's willing to submit, mm. that likes that, like that likes the man being the child, likes the man yeah. taking control. But then you'll find most of the time that comes with the man financially she provided, provided. because a lot of those yeah. women they want to just be financially taken care of and um everything else it's yeah. rare to find a woman it's not impossible but it's rare to find a woman that will financially take care of you as a man and still 100 percent submit to you that's rare it's not that it's impossible um but if you really do like submission and you really want that you know total control that's that what gets the juices flowing, flowing <laughs> <laughs> then you need to you need to recognize that more yeah. often than not you you're going to be expected to be financially yeah financially Take care of everything. providing fully yeah, fully yeah because that's that is pretty much how it tends to play out that's yeah. traditionally how it played out mm. so women who want that or are happy to agree to that are more likely to think a bit more traditionally but if we're talking about submission in the looser sense of the word in terms of respect and kind of leadership mm -hmm. um is it necessary for a relationship to thrive I think yes, yes respect. Respect, definitely, definitely. But it needs to be earned. Yeah, it needs to be earned. I think it's, it's it feels organic when it's earned. Like mm. it just it just flows when it's earned. Yeah, yeah. And I guess a relationship that's not based on submission doesn't mean that it lacks respect in any way. No, you know, no, it doesn't. And neither does a relationship that is based on submission either. No. You can have a relationship based on respect on submission that doesn't lack doesn't respect, respect that the man yeah. or the woman takes their position very seriously yeah, and it's true and is it's caring true. about it it's true um so respect is really key um and i think this is where a lot of people go wrong they're not communicating properly what they want in terms of what they mean do they mean yeah. leadership in a teamwork yeah. environment or submission in a total authoritative hierarchical way um and respect is not given in its its rightful place yeah. in these kind of conversations, yeah. um, and also the importance of communication is not is not um, 
being factored in when you're yeah. thinking about submission, yeah. you know, how important it is for you, even in a submissive relationship, to communicate with each other, yeah. you know, yeah. every relationship needs that. So my personal view is, is submission necessary for a relationship to thrive? Only if one of you has it as a standard. I think leadership is necessary for a relationship to thrive, whether that's combined leadership in a teamwork type of way mm -hmm. or a team where one person is the clear leader. Mm -hmm. um, but you do need you respect do. and you, you do. do need that. You do. You do. But not, not submission in its no. actual terms. No. I, I think me and you agree that. Yeah. Well, now, because I wouldn't have yeah. said this yeah. a few months ago, but mm. yeah, now I agree that mm. submission is not necessary, not in the total mm. submission type mm. of way. Yeah. So I think that's it. I think that covers everything. I think the decision of whether or not to submit to your partner is definitely a personal one. And it depends on how you think about submission, how you define it, your values, your beliefs, and the nature of the relationship you actually have oh. with that person. Mm. And what you need to do before deciding whether or not you're going to be in that kind of relationship is really reflect on your understanding and explore your personal okay. take. Okay, that's really, really important. That's really, really important to show that you understand it and then mm. the person that you're with understands it too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like what we always say, be open, be honest, be vulnerable, communicate your expectation, yeah. your boundaries, talk about roles and responsibilities. Yeah. That will help you navigate this question yeah. about submission. And respect each other because that's fundamentally what what most people are probably even talking about when it comes to submission. Yeah, yeah I agree. This is pro this is probably our longest episode. <laughs> <laughs> Season two, we've come back. We've yeah. got. We've this this is just really important. This is really important. I think I think it's um it, it's one of the I would say one of the best ones because um. I knew for a fact, even when I was younger, that people did not understand what submission really means in a in a relationship or a marriage. Mm. But so it was good for us to like yeah, delve talk into about it. Yeah. yeah, I think we've done it justice. I think we have. I think we have. Hopefully, everyone enjoys it. So that's it, guys. You've heard what we've had to say about submission. We've defined it. Mm -hmm. We've spoken about traditional ideas of submission, what it means when they talk about submission in a relationship. We've given you our views on whether or not we think it's necessary for a successful marriage. Yeah. And really, it's up to you to make of that what you will and to decide whether or not you agree with that and yeah. kind of tailor it to suit yeah. you. So you know. Remember, this is just, you know, Nuria Frank's views. Uh -huh. Yeah. We really hope you tune into the next episode where we'll be breaking down and discussing something we mentioned often in season one, love languages. Mm -hmm. What are they and does the whole concept even really work? That should be a good one. Yeah. Does it work in practice? So we're going to talk about that next week. So tune in for that. Don't forget to email us any of your questions, comments, or dilemmas at itt.thepodcast at gmail.com or send us a DM on Instagram at ittpodcast, all one word. Thank you for hanging out with us and we'll speak to you on the next one. Bye. Bye.